Hey guys, so before this video starts, I heavily recommend that you check out the first part in the card above, because there's a lot of details I go over there that I'm most likely not going to explain here. This is most likely going to be the shortest of the three parts I plan of this series, because I wanted to equal it out with three chapters at the start and three chapters at the end. So, with that out of the way, let's get on to the video. Picking up where we left off last time after beating Blitzwing, we move a few centimeters just to get clapped up by a Seeker in a cutscene. We then fight a group of Seekers which usually spells out an L for me, but surprisingly, I managed to beat them first try. Then we reach a bridge section, which you will see becomes purgatory for me. I try to race to the end of the bridge and then die from a heavy unit's huge hitbox. Then I reach for my phone IRL to tally the death votes and I didn't hear my auto revives go off, so I get fucked up for a few seconds before realizing I'm alive, just to get shot down because I had a tip of health left. Second time we drive past everything, I even figure out that my confused shot can destroy mines, and make it to the end of the bridge, but then... No! No! Yup. Right after my torture to even get the roadblock open, they do the same thing and put heavy units AND seekers to block the door. The worst part is since they cut you off from moving forwards, there's a good chance you'll get ganked by everyone you pass, which includes a heavy. So I die because of their weird time attacks at the end of the bridge. The third time, I didn't even reach the heavies because some seekers decided to beat my ass. And just like the first time I said it, I'm gonna spare you the details, but just so you know. So about 10 minutes or so later, we finally power through this section and keep going. Now we end up on the Motormaster race section, and when I tell you I destroyed him, I fucking destroyed him. Now you don't have to fight Motormaster in this section, but violence is always the answer. The second I reached him, the fight was already over. I also ended up figuring out that grappling hook doesn't affect him for some reason. So with him unconscious, I make it to the end of the track where he comes back and we have to fight him again. While I don't die this time either, I didn't do as flawless as I did the first time. <clears throat> so we beat him, and they give us a little tracking mission to break up the action. Even in this part, I almost have a midlife crisis trying to figure out how to get past this section until these randomly explode, and then we reach this thing. Honestly, I wasn't paying attention to the story. A little cutscene plays out and I skip it, and the second I skip it, I recognize exactly what area I'm at. These protection sections were my biggest fear when starting this run. You would think your allies have BB guns and are made of wet tissue paper because they do no damage and the person you have to protect dies in a combo or two. I beat the first wave in a few seconds to see it only go up by 20%. Then the next wave comes in and it's all lightning insecticons. This section took so many tries. There are three main reasons it's so bad. One. There's lightning. They can hit your person that you're protecting from far away, and their attack hits three times. Two, my absolute doo-doo damage, I can barely even protect myself, let alone defend him. Third, when you lose, you have to start all the waves all over again. So next attempt, I beat the Insecticons, and then they call in Seekers. I did not beat those Seekers. They killed both me and Wheeljack at the same time, which somehow caused the game to lock up and freeze until I had to restart the console. Most normal people would have taken a break here, but <laughs> your boy isn't normal. So full of anger and rage, I restart the game and try this section again. And I could reliably get to the Seekers now, but the problem was they can casually snap you out of combos and focus. So whenever I'd start a transformation combo, they'd simply break me out of it. Now after... <laughs> We eventually win, which only took 30 minutes. Then we run into the other thing I was afraid of, Menasar. Now Menasar is only a threat because he has all the attributes that I gave to Devastator, but he's 20 times faster. If you fail to focus dodge Menasar's moves and he continues at regular speed, it's pretty much the worst feeling as your only real choice is to mash R1 hoping you don't fall into his next attack. So we beat him in his first phase. Did this cutscene always look this good? Now Menasar's Holy Blade was just a smidgen more difficult. Just a smidgen. On the final attempt, I managed to use these little lightning electric homing orbs that he shot to spam focus and do a good chunk of damage before almost getting killed at the end and being saved by invincibility frames. I get a trophy for not getting hit, apparently I've always been bad at this boss, and after Menasar throws this thing to Megatron's base, we close up chapter 4. 
For supposedly our shortest section, this part ended up being a little bit lengthier than I thought it would be, which somewhat leaves me fearful as the next few chapters will definitely be harder than this, but that's a bridge we'll cross when we get there. I've been M, and I am out.